Hey guys, in this chapter we're going to be building a uh, responsive, tableless CSS calendar. All right, um, we're not going to do the whole, th all 12 months, we're just going to build it for just um, August of 2014. And the thing that, that really sticks out about this project is that it's tableless. Um, a lot of calendars, most calendars that you'll see, um, use HTML tables and that's not the only option. Um, some people say that calendars should be, or, or they are considered tabular data. Some people say they're not. Um, I prefer not to use tables in some, with something like this. Um, basically, I only use tables when it's something like uh, spreadsheet data or something like that. So this is gonna be tableless and it's also responsive. All right, so if we go ahead and make the browser smaller, you can see that the whole layout changes. Okay, so it changes in, into kind of a list view. All right, we have our dates, our numbers, and then we have the event. All right, so uh, pretty pretty simple. It's going to be a pretty easy project. Um, just what I want you to pay attention to mostly is the markup and how we structure it um, in order to to add our CSS. And the way that we do it, um, it's going to make it easy to customize it if you want, if you want to change the look. All right, so you can see we do have um, days of the week that are not in August, and I've given them a special class to give them a darker color, all right, than the actual August dates. So we have this at the beginning and at the end. And I'm still including events that are in the previous or next month as well. All right, so let's get started. It's only two, we're just gonna have an index file and then a CSS file. All right, no images, this is totally imageless. So I'm gonna create a new folder and just call it calendar. And we're gonna create index.html and also a folder called CSS which will hold our style.css file. All right, so let's go ahead and open up index. And we might as well open up, actually we don't need to open up the CSS file yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our doc type and all our general stuff, general HTML. So let's go ahead and put a title. I'm just going to put August 2014. And feel free to add on to this uh, project and go ahead and do all the months if you want. So that's the title. Um, it's going to be responsive. So we need our viewport tag. Okay, so name is going to be viewport content width is equal equal to device width and it will have an initial scale of um, 1.0 Actually, just one. All right, now let's go ahead and link our style sheet. So it's in the CSS folder and it's called style.css. And then we can do the type, which is text slash CSS. All right, so that'll link our style sheet. So the next element that I wanna create, the first one in the body tags is gonna be a wrapper class. Okay, so I'm gonna say div. Uh, actually, let's make it an ID. So div ID calendar 
crap. And let me just do a little comment here. Okay, and then inside of that, if we look at our HTML page, uh, we just have a header with an H1. So let's say header and H1, which is going to say August. 2014 okay so that's all we need for our header next I want to create a div with the ID of calendar all right and then inside of that now we're going to be using unordered lists, all right? So the, these days here are actually a list. So let's go ahead and create that. We have a UL tag. And I'm going to give this UL a class of weekdays. OK, and then we're just going to do the days of the week. Let me copy this. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the days. Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday and Saturday. Okay, so that's our weekdays. Now we're going to create another unordered list, UL, and it's going to have the class of days. All right, so Now this unordered list with the class of days, okay, we're going to have a few of these and they're going to represent a row, okay? So this row here is one unordered list with the class of days. This one is another UL um, unordered list, okay? So these are all UL tags with the class of days, all right? So what we're going to put in, the, in here is list items that uh, are going to have the class day okay so each block each calendar block represents a, a list item with the class of day all right so the months that are not in August where we need to set to we need a class to represent those so along with the class of day I'm going to also add a, a class name of other month okay and then inside of there, we'll have a div. All right, and this div is going to have a class called date. All right, and that's basically just going to be the number. All right, so we're going to start with 27. Okay, because if we look at our calendar, the first one here is 27. All right, so that is that there represents a day. This day doesn't happen to have any events, all right? When we have events, we'll, we'll add to that. Uh, but I think I'm gonna do the events in the next video. I just wanna get the calendar done in this one. All right, so let's see what we have. We have one, two, three, four, five um, other day classes. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and we just need to change these numbers. 28, 29, 30, and 31. All right, so next we need two more for this week. All right, but these two aren't going to have the class other month. Okay, so this will be one, two. Okay, so that represents a week. Okay, now we need another unordered list with the class of days. 
Okay, now for this, we want to get rid of these other month classes. Okay, and we'll change these dates. Four, five, six, seven. Whoops, we forgot this one. Okay, seven, eight, nine. All right, and you can see how um, simple this structure is. All right, you always want to try to keep your HTML very simple and clean. You don't want to have any kind of design um, in your HTML. Leave all that to CSS. All right, so I'm going to copy this unordered list. Oops. Okay, let's copy that. And this will be the third row. Yep, the third row. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, so let's keep going. 17, whoop. Okay, so that goes up to the 23rd. Let's take a look at the what's going on here. Okay, so it goes to 23rd, right? So now we need we get two more rows, this one and this one. So let's see, 23, 24. So thirty, oops. All right, so the last row is going to start at thirty one, and then the rest of them are going to be other month classes. So let's see, 31, and then we're going to start over at 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. And we want to add the class here of other month. Just copy that. Alright, so let's go ahead and save it and we can take a look at it. It's not going to be too pretty. Okay, so it's not pretty at all, but it's very clean uh, as far as the code. So basically, I'm going to stop here and then in the next video, we will add um, the actual event content.